Good Miss Charity Mwanza to talk about the um, women department. Well, How should as a matter of wing is be an investor and buy back Zambia, which we've incorporated into the women's department. And uh, in order for a women to achieve this, we need to focus on the excellence of women in modern Africa in pursuit of modern business development. Why do you think it's important to launch this department? Anyway, the women in Amakaya Wingi looked at this department and they had to set up some aims. And the aims, the aims were to capacity build women aspiring to go into business. The other one is to help build women already in business. As you can see, we've got already women like my sister here, she's in business. We've got uh, Dr. Kathy there, who is already in business and she's already a developed lady, but she's also able to mentor other people. And uh, the other reason, the other aim is to assist in building women who have become single parents due to circumstances beyond their control. Like we've got Mrs. Mlenga who's uh, launched this road safety awareness. I'm sure most of our relatives who died, they've left orphans and they would like to start up something which can help them in order to sustain the lives of their other their, their orphans. The other aim is to develop the interest of women in participating competitively in the international business collaboration and bridge the gap due to gender issues. I'm sure you are aware about the, this gender issue which has been uh, since, nine, since 19, uh, is it 1909, 1907, 1911, when women now started participating in the, most of the things. Uh, and even nowadays you find that you'll be doing the same job, but there's a difference in the pay. You find that a woman is getting less than a man. And sometimes you find that even if the woman is highly qualified, but because of the gender issue you are put down. Even in businesses, if you look at the statistics, I'm sure you find that there isn't a lot of women who have got, uh, who are so much famous about their businesses. They are hidden, you know. And when you read about them in the paper, it becomes a very big thing. You say, oh, so there's a, this lady who is, a, who is a millionaire, who is a billionaire. We get surprised, but they've been there. So that's what we want to bridge. The other reason is to create a sustainable business network for women in business and create a roadmap to financial freedom. The last aim to develop a facilitation for nurses and other professionals like those uh, who want to set up uh, structures like maybe in the rural areas you want to help contribute toward the national development plan, you set up a clinic or a hospital, a maternity, you know, uh, to try and help with, with the people that are in the rural area so that they can also have access to those facilities. Those are some of the aims. Objectives, how do we attain these objectives? The means of attainment is by presenting accessible workshops and conferences, just like we've done this one, you know. We have a conference, we call people, and then we start networking, and then we'll be able to gain knowledge and develop ourselves. The other objective is to set up skill training sessions which are tailor-made so that the immediate skills gap can be met. Like for the example, the ladies, we are blessed with Dr. Kathy. She can be able to mentor the ladies who need help. The other objective is to set up international exchange visits and network communication between women of Zambia and other women from the international community. So it's not only Zambia, it's worldwide. You can have a friend, like my sister comes from Tanzania, isn't it? So it's nice. There's another brother who comes from Zimbabwe. So it's international. You can also meet some other people from America, from India, anywhere. So you can communicate with them, promote uh, network communication. The other objective is to participate in the national development program which affects women in business and thereby contribute to the actual growth of the national development plan. So by you setting up a structure like a clinic or a school or maybe improving the road, you are also uh, contributing towards the national development program. Why? Why do you think it's important for you to join? to help you find, identify business partners locally and internationally through a way of networking businesses. So through networking like here, we've met my brother here who's talking about the funeral plan, 
Mrs. Malinga talking about the road safety awareness, and my sister here talking about the perfume. So through that, we'll be able to, you know, to, to make partners with them. And the other reason why there's need for you to join is you have links internationally to identify your investment opportunity. So by using Amaka Yabundi, you'll be able to identify investment ventures, for example, in Malawi, in South Africa, you know, anywhere in the, in the world, they'll be able to help you. Then to learn more ways of financial sustainability, like uh, I'm referring to Dr. Kathy again, she's always had a vision so that vision has made her to sustain and be able to achieve what she's already what she's been dreaming about. To aid in creating a path to financial growth and freedom. Of course, like my sister here, she's got this, and she still has a vision to develop some other uh, other products. So it's not a, a long term. It's not a, a short term uh, process. It's a long term process. So it will lead her to financial freedom. Even if it doesn't lead her to financial freedom, maybe her children, her grandchildren, they will, they will have to achieve that financial freedom. You identify which charity organization you would like to support internationally, for example. And we've got Save the Children, so you can also you know, be able to help some of those charitable organizations. Okay, the achievements. What achievements have we got through Amakaya Wing? We've got a farm project managed by Mr. James J. J. and S. Intambo Enterprise. He's, able, he's been able to supply farm produces to the mining area and the community. You can also take part in the stock market shares. Then we've also lately um, launched an e-shop which has just been created by Dr. Lukomona. And this e-shop recently created helps business members to advise, to advertise and buy online items. So if you want to advise or to advertise your business, you can use Amakaya Wingi and the website is there, www.amakayawingi.org. Of course, there is an annual fee and there is the benefits to everything, you know, there are also benefits. Just like the way we came here, I'm sure people paid for that, but the knowledge that we've acquired, I'm sure it's quite a lot. So there are some benefits to become a member. And if you need to join the women department, Amakaya Wingi, there's a chairperson, Ms. Valeria Ruzelenga there, and the telephone number is there. The secretary is Mrs. Alice Cheon Sanya, and then finance myself as usual. I love money so much, so <laughs> I hope I won't be able to thank you very much. If there are any questions, please. We are just starting this Amakaya with the women's department, and it's our first presentation, so we hope to.